Hello and welcome back to Time with the Durbins. Um, today we're doing kind of a special project. Um, my mom asked me if I would, Mark and I would please um, make their urns. At first I was a little uh, put off by it because <laughs> yeah. you never want to think of your parents um, not being with you anymore. Um, but it, it's kind of an honor. So this is a labor of love today. Um, we've got some walnut that my mom's nephew, he has a uh, sawmill in Illinois and so she was able to get some walnut for hers and then we were able to get some oak for my dad's. Um, what we're planning on making is my mom's a seamstress and I wanted to make an urn kind of with something to do with sewing. I found a little sewing machine. Mine won't look exactly like this but this is kind of what I'm, I'm working toward um, for my mother's urn. And then for my dad's urn, he was a machinist his whole life. So Mark's going to make a machinist, old time machinist toolbox for his. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, <laughs> we've got to plane down the wood. We've got to cut it to size. Um, there's a lot of steps, but we would like you to uh, join our journey. Okay, so uh, we'll get the camera reset here in just a second towards the table saw. I'm going to cut up, rough cut up the wood first, and Diane's going to plane it down. In this little white shed we have, we don't have enough power to run the saw and the planer at the same time, so we're going to have to do it in steps. But if you notice Diane's hands, how lovely her <laughs> hands are, she's, she's a uh, multitasker. She's, she started a, a greenhouse, if you've seen one of our previous uh, videos. Uh, she was out there doing the potting soil, mixing everything together, and we, we bought some more uh, plants last night and another one of those troughs. So she was doing that this morning while I was out in the garage for a little bit, and then I came back, and now we're going to do this. So she'll go from dirt to sawdust. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the walnut for this because... Uh, I already kind of scaled off of this drawing, got my dimensions. I've got a, a material list here made up already to cut the material. On the, uh, on the toolbox, I haven't quite got that far yet. I've got some dimensions, so I think I can cut some of the material out, but I'm still trying to figure out my dimension on my drawers and stuff. You know, you, you think, well, I could just go buy one of these and use that, but I'm scaling this down, so this is going to be about half the size of a real Gerstner uh, wooden toolbox. So. Everything's got to be shrunk down just so it's, it doesn't need to be that big for one thing. And the other thing is, it, it takes away the value if I just go buy one, you know, if I don't make it. So I, I think it'll be a lot neater. I've got some ideas on it. So uh, that's what I'm going to start on first. So the first thing i got to figure out is my material. Okay, that's what I'll need for the um, for the sewing machine cabinet. Uh, this is all going to get planed down to quarter inch, and it'll be cut up in a lot of small pieces. This will get planed down to three eighths, and it'll get cut up into the to the lid, and then the uh, trim pieces around the bottom. So uh, Diane will get that all planed down, and we can cut it up. Into this. Okay, so on these pieces here, I need to set this to the correct uh, depth. So I'm not going to take very heavy cut because this is walnut, and this is not a really uh, expensive um, planer. So set that down and let's get to cutting. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the, uh, the main box glued up for the, uh, the toolbox and for the sewing cabinet. And I wanna show you those, and I'm working on the drawers for the uh, toolbox right now, but let me show you the boxes so far, how they look. Um, actually turned out pretty good. This is gonna be the toolbox. I've got it kind of rough sanded and glued together. What I'll have to do is I'll take it over on the table saw and I'll, I'll cut around this and cut the lid off. That way the grain matches when you cut it off. 
and it should match perfect then. Um, what I'm working on right now, there's an insert that goes in the front. Obviously, I got to keep this open in the back for the um, for the ashes, so I can't have actual drawers, so I'm going to have false drawers in here. It's just going to look like drawers. I want it to look like that when the, when the um, I've got the front door here that covers this. I still got to uh, finish sanding it, put a router out, and put an insert in it. So it'll be a solid uh, door that covers these, and it'll fold down and it'll actually slide inside. Um, you know, once I get it sanded, the length is a little long now. I made it a little long on purpose, but it'll slide inside and expose the doors. And uh, that's the way these toolboxes work. And then when you when you lift this up and close this. Uh, and then shut the lid, pins come down into this and it locks it so it, it locks the toolbox up to make it secure. So anyway, um, got that glued together. I got to sand it and route it out and cut out an insert, an oak insert for the center. And um, should look kind of like that when it's all done. I'm not sure about the hardware yet. We're still trying to find hardware, so I hope I can come up with something. But anyway, on the drawers, and I don't know how good it shows up in this picture, but at the bottom of each drawer, you can see a, a groove cut in it to just kind of set it off a little bit. Um, I'm doing the same thing here. I had to, um, this is my practice piece. It only gets a groove on one edge. I, I grooved both sides of this practice and trying to get the cut to come out right. But uh, basically, you can kind of see it's just a, um, I don't know how good that's showing up. I'm trying to get up behind that white paper so you can see a little better. But there's a groove at the bottom of this this uh, drawer front. Here's here's the actual drawer fronts here. I've started grooving some of them, so you can kind of see th this is going to be my my false front. I've got three little drawers here. I got a bigger drawer here in the center, and then it'll be a a bigger drawer and then a smaller drawer here, and then I have three smaller drawers here. As you can see, if you don't put that groove on there and you get these all together, it's kind of hard to tell there's three different drawers there. So uh, that groove will kind of help offset them and, and make them look more factory and kind of differentiate between each drawer. But that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'll glue these on. And then uh, when they're dry, then I'll sand them to length and everything on the outside. They'll be a little bit long there. But I'll show you my setup over here and my handy dandy tool that I, uh, I just kind of hand sharpen this. This is kind of a homemade tool from a long time ago. And again, I don't know how well that's showing up. Let me put a piece of wood behind it. You can kind of see right in this tool, right back here, it's kind of cut in a, in a radius. And it's just a single point. It was a, a boring tool I made years ago. It's a piece of three quarter inch coal roll round with a, with an actual lathe tool bit welded to it and then hand ground. So it's a single cutting tool bit, but it works pretty good. I got it speeding up pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these grooves on these drawers. And then I'll kind of show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, I've got quite a bit done on the, the toolbox urn for Jim. Um, I wanna show you up right now. I'm, I'm putting a stain on it and I've got most of the pieces cut out. I've still got to drill a couple more holes um, for the hinges in the lid. And also there's a locking pin that goes down, and I'll show you here in a second, that goes down and holds that front panel in. So uh, this is what I've got done so far. I'm using a golden oak finish on it. And um, this, this, is, this side's got the stain on already. And you can see the difference. It's quite a bit lighter without the stain. You can see a little bit there, the difference. So anyway, I'm getting the, the box stained up. That's going to be the box. Here's the front of the box with the drawers. I got this made up. There'll be one, two, three drawers here, middle drawer, two small drawers, and then three long drawers here. This is the front that's going to go in this box. And let me, uh, let me set it up and show it to you. And you gotta be careful how you're holding it. You can leave fingerprints in the stain if you're not careful. So you wanna look it over really good after you get all done and make sure you didn't miss anything because once it sets, sets in there, it's, it's there. So <laughs> I guess that's one way to autograph your work. Okay, so that's, uh, that's this part now. 
So I'll let this dry a little bit and I'll put a coat of polyurethane on and then I'll do start my sanding process, but. Welcome back. Um, so as you can see, Mark's got this beautiful, beautiful cabinet finished for me. Um, I've been putting in a lot of hours at work, so I was not able to put the time in that needed to be put on these. So thank God Mark's talented enough that he can um, help me out. <laughs> and he, it came out above my expectations. He's routed this edge. Um, this walnut is really beautiful walnut. Um, it's turned out really well. Um, I'm going to put the little sewing machine on top here, but right now what I'm getting ready to do is, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've, I've just, um, drawn it on there and then I'm going to try, um, wood burn a saying in there that I found off the internet that fits my mom perfectly because she's a quilter. So, um, hopefully once I get this completed, you'll be able to see the finished product. Let's get started. Just using a um, a little soldering tool. Uh, um, I've tried a couple of wood burners um, from Harbor Freight and um, um, from Amazon. They were cheap, granted, but th they just didn't last very long at all. The tips fell off or got bent. So uh, Mark came up with this idea with a soldering tool, and this has worked out very well for my wood burning. So let's uh, get started on this. I think that turned out pretty neat. Um, once I get, I am gonna stain this walnut because I tried a couple different um, stains on it and just doing it um, without any stain or doing it with, uh, you know, just uh, the, the bare wood. But I liked a little bit of stain on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, stain this and um, Get it put together put a couple of coats i'll have to put at least probably three coats polyurethane on it but um as you can see then my uh sewing machine will sit right there next to it right by the saying and then like i said i'm going to be putting like just some little like a little thimble and some buttons um and just some couple different things on here to which I'll just be gluing those on there once I get it sealed. And then um, maybe a little scissors. And then I haven't decided, I'd like to put some type of uh, of the, the measuring tape on there, but I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna attach that yet. So that's, that's a work in progress. But um, as you can see, I, I think it'll turn out really nice and I hope they enjoy it. So that's it for now. Now off to the next step. Hey everyone. Um... If you can watch the video, you know we've been working on urns for Jim and Mary, and we finally got them finished. And so this this is the last part of the video. We're going to show the urns and kind of explain a little bit about what they are and, and what they mean to us personally, and hopefully to Jim and Mary too. So um, the first one we're going to do is the one Diane made for Mary, and um, I'll have her explain a little bit to it, and then, then we'll show it. So you want to go ahead? Yep. So the one I made for my, my mom, um, she is, is uh, my, my grandmother was a seamstress and my mother is unbelievable making quilts, etc. And um, unfortunately it did not follow with me. I am horrible at the sewing machine, but my sister and nieces and my daughter is all very talented. But um, so I kind of made it a tribute to that. Okay. So this is what I made for my uh, mother. Um, she, as I said, she was a seamstress, or is a seamstress, and she makes beautiful, beautiful quilts. So I made just a little uh, sewing machine shelf. I found these buttons online, or the knobs online. I thought they were really pretty. And then I just kind of put some little stuff around it to make it, you know, look like a sewing, a sewing table. 
And then I um, wood burned, which I have a video on that. I wood burned this saying into it. And this, this patch that you said is your mom's, right? That that's when she was doing seam, seamstress and stuff? Mm -hmm. That that was mm -hmm. the, yeah, that the was label the she would she sew into the clothing. So that's, that's very old, and it's actually her mother's uh, little uh, patch. calling card, I guess you'd say. She'd sew into the... the uh, and then on this clothing. one, how you put the ashes in is we will just screw that in the bottom. So that'll just be open in there. And then I can screw that in the bottom and it'll be all set. So, cool. And then, oh, and t you want to talk about the walnut? The, the, the walnut is amazing. The, the wood we got for both of these, we got from uh, Jim Mary, got from Diane's cousin, Jim Ludwig. And the, I, I've done a lot of woodworking over the years, and this is by far the most the prettiest walnut I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It was so clear and, and, the, and the grain and everything was just perfect on it. The coloring was perfect on it. We didn't even have to stain it. We just uh, put polyurethane on it, Diane did. Uh, same with the red oak. It was just beautiful wood. It's just a very pretty grain and, and just uh, amazing lumber. I, I don't know where he got it from, if he, uh, if he um, grew it himself, but he has a sawmill, so he sawed it. But uh, I don't know where the lumber came from, but it was unbelievable. Yes. And anyway, uh, this this is Jim's. Um, over here, it's 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 supposed to be. It's just a scale model of a Gershner's wooden machinist toolbox. Jim was machinist all his life, so I wanted to do something that along those lines, and and I just came up with this, and. Uh, basically, if, you, if you're familiar with machinist toolboxes, they always had a panel in the front that when you shut the lid, it would lock it, so that would lock the drawers in here so you couldn't get into it. So I made, I made that functional, um, but the drawers aren't functional because obviously we had to have room inside the box for the ashes. So you open it up here. I, I've got a zero to one inch mic in there. I've got some little cheap calipers, and then these these are called one, two, three blocks. And I, I originally I was gonna make these to, to screw to the lid here so you'd pick up on those to take the lid out to put the ashes in. And after I got done with them, I thought, well, I kinda hate to have them separated like this and screwed on the lid, they wouldn't look right. So I just left them free. And just to give you an idea for scale, that's that's the actual size for a one, two, three block. And that's how much <laughs> difference is in the scale of this toolbox. I know it's hard sometimes to judge scale on a video um, and I, I really wanted to set this next to my toolbox out in the garage just to give you an idea of scale but it's it's really tiny if, if you if you can see a real toolbox so um, anyway I wanted to make it as realistic as possible so the front here uh, and these knobs originally I thought I was gonna have to use thumbtacks and, and paint them gold and Diane found these knobs online they're actually little door knobs for doll houses but they're perfect uh, they're brass and then this, this folds down and then it's designed to slide back. And then there would be your drawers. Again, you've got three small drawers, a big drawer here, two, two and then two, three big drawers here. But obviously it won't open because it's hollow behind there. But, uh, and then the, the latch on the side, I, we looked everywhere. I could not find any of these in the bright brass like the, the other hardware. But Diane found these or they were, they were a, like a burnt brass, they were dark. So I did, I did spray those with some gold paint. It's, it's not as gold as I'd like, but it's the closest we can get. And actually, overall, I don't think it looks too bad with, with the oak. Again, that, the lumber is, uh, is awesome. The grain in this stuff, it's just, uh, it's beautiful lumber. Um, so, oh, and then every Gershner toolbox has a mirror in the lid. And that, you wouldn't be surprised how hard it is to find stuff when you're trying to scale something down and keep it looking original. The little latches and, and the handles um the the knobs uh, and a mirror that that mirror was probably the hardest thing out of everything to find and just luckily i was looking on ebay and these are actually mirrors you peel and stick on the back of your phone they call them selfie mirrors and it's two inches square is perfect so i ordered two of them just in case one came in cracked but anyway it worked out perfect i'm really happy with the size of that and the way it looked turned out so then I, oh, and then years ago at our shop in Illinois, M and J Machine Company, the J is for Jim, uh, M's for me, 
and um, I, I happened to find this out in the garage when when um, I was building this. I was looking for some hardware, and I found this in a in a box. And I thought, oh, that'd be perfect. So that's what I'm using for the draw, the pull. You pick this up and you lift this panel out, and that's that's where the ashes would go. Okay, so. Um, I thought that'd kind of have a little bit of sentimental value too there, but it's been quite an experience building these, a little emotional experience and uh, a challenge to, to make it look the way I wanted it to look, and it, it, um, I'm real happy the way it turned out. I hope Jim and Mary loved their, their urns, uh, a lot of love and thought went into them, so uh, this goes up and I just have a hell with a magnet instead of a pen that was too thin to try to drill that. So, But that's what we came up with. So um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try to edit this together as best I can. I, like I said, we, we started this thing, a project, what, two months ago, a month and a half ago or something. Yeah. And I've got two other videos starting between this. So, I mean, it's going to be confusing getting this all edited. Diane's filmed some on, on her camera. I filmed some on mine. It's just... It's going to be a challenge to get this video to come out to be any any way, shape, or form entertaining or, or or chronologically correct. But I'll do the best I can. The main thing is to kind of show what we started out with. We, we got a picture of the lumber and all that when we were cleaning it down. So um, and to see what we ended up with. Uh, it's it's uh, it was a fun journey. So. Uh, like say, and a labor of love. A labor of love, yes. And <laughs> and one of those things you hope they never ever have to use them. And I, I told Mary yesterday, I, I we were talking to her on the phone, and I, I said, we're going to give them to you, but you're not allowed to use them for a long, 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 long time. Okay? That's the deal. So she said she would keep them on the shelf and keep them dusted. <laughs> so anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was entertaining and, and informative. And um, like I always say, if you like our videos, please hit the subscribe and like buttons and share them with a friend. And please, please put comments down below. We, a lot of stuff we're doing, we're just kind of doing it as what we do. And, and so if you have any ideas of better ways to do something or something you'd like to see us try to do, um, there's not too much that, that we're not able to, to do one way or another. When it comes to machining and woodworking, um, Diane's into uh, growing vegetables and stuff now. She's got a nice little greenhouse and everything. So it's... Uh, Definitely been busy around here. I retired full time completely back in January, the end of January, and I swear I've been busier now than before I retired. It's every day there's something going on, and and um, it's it just amazing. The time just flies. So anyway, don't mean to talk your ear off. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.